Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be learning on how to make a simple quiz game in Scratch 3. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can find the link to it in the description box below. Now let's start. When we open Scratch 3, by default, we get this cat here. In this project, we do not want the cat, so we can delete it. Then click on paint. And now you can choose your favorite color. You can see what color you have chosen in this box. I'm going to choose this blue color. Now click on fill, convert to bitmap and click here. Now you can see that this box, which is your stage is blue in color. Now I adjust the screen. Once you have done this, click on T, which indicates text. And now again, click on your favorite color. I'm going to choose purple here. And type, welcome to this quiz game. After you have typed it, if you want, you can find a font here. After you have done so, resize it here. You can size it until your desired size comes. I think this is fine for me. Okay, for me, this is fine. After you have done so, come to code, click on events. When flag clicked, then go to looks, show. Then below, you can see add extension, click on that and select text to speech. After you have done so, you can see these three blocks, select speak hello. By default, you get this hello, you can backspace it and erase it and write welcome to this quiz game. You can complete it by welcome to this quiz game or you can also put another speak and you can write hope you enjoy. Now let's see how it has come. Welcome to this quiz game. Hope you'll enjoy. I hope you have got so far correct. Now I've done so far. Again, choose a sprite. Click on choose a sprite. And we want button two. When you swipe down, you can see button two here, or you can also search button. Click on button two. Go to costumes. And you can see there's a blue and an orange button. It is labeled as button 2A and button 2B. Click on button 2A. Click on select this arrow and click on the button and resize the edges. Make sure all the four sides are equal. Place it between here. Yeah. 
this looks fine. Now again, select, click on fill and select your favorite color. I'm going to select um, I'm going to select kind of a dark blue color on this side and on the other side, I'm going to select kind of a purple color, purplish pink color. I think this looks fine for me. You can select your favorite color. Click on text. Here I'm going to take Purple. Or what you can do is you can go to Sprite, Fill, click on this, and this. then go to Button Two. Okay. Now you have the same color as in this. Now type start okay this color looks very light so i'm gonna increase it this looks blue i want purple in here so now increase the size you can choose your favorite color it's up to you Is it between? Now it looks correct. But I'm still not satisfied with my text color. So I'm going to try to change it here. Yeah? Now I think it looks good. And then select it. I'm again going to change this color. Okay, now I'm okay with it. After you have done so, make sure you place it below or in between and then go to code. After you've gone to code, click on when flag clicked, then go to looks, click show. Okay. Now go to events. Select when this sprite clicked, then go to events and broadcast. Click on this downward arrow, new message and type hide. Click on okay. And then go to looks and hide. Okay, now it's done. After this, go to this edge corner and then click on this icon. Don't click, just put your arrow on this icon and then click on paint. You can see backdrop one and backdrop two here. And choose your favorite color. Click on fill, convert to with map. This looks too dark, so I'm gonna make it light. It looks very dull. This will make it bright. Okay, now it will go down. Okay, this looks fine. Now we're gonna start with our project. Till now we did the basics, now let's get into it. Then click on text. And then click on sprite. 
I think my text has to be a little more large. It's looking a bit very small. So I'm increasing the size. Then click on fill. Select the color, go to button two. Uh, sorry. Then go to paint. Then come back to backdrop one. Then click on text. And then you can write your question here. So as I said, this was a quiz game. So you need to write your question. I'm going to write a very simple question. How many days are in a... It's a very simple question. Then increase the size. Place it a little below. And you're done. Um, okay, now it's done. And then again, below it or beneath it, again, do a click and then write your options. Option A, eight, increase the size. Then again, do a click. Option B, Six. I think it has to be right below A. Okay. Make sure your options are spacious. Make sure they are big and spacious and they look very good and not congested. Increase the size according to what you want. And then again, go to text. I will be giving four options here. Now comes the right option, which is here. Um, just for confirmation, I'm again going to click done. Now, option C, seven. Looks fine. Now again. Uh, click on text. And then I'm going to give my last option, which is D. Nine. I want them all to be in a straight line, so I'm just going to measure them. Okay, looks fine to me. I think it looks very congested. So I'm going to place it between here. Okay, looks good. Now, my first question is done. Again, click on fill, select this, click here, then come here, click on fill, convert to bitmap and you click. And now again, follow the same steps in which you have to type your question. 
if I type, if I do a video on all my questions typing, so it will be very boring. So you can follow the way I did in backdrop number one. So now you can see I have done five backdrops. So after you have done five backdrops, make sure all of them have the same background color as well as the same text color also. You have done so much, come to Sprite 1, click on Sprite 1, and then go to Code. After you have gone, uh, gone to Code, then um, you need to, you need to, and then click on when I receive hide, then go to looks and select hide and place it below when I receive hide. After you do so much, then you need to, to go to um, backdrops, select backdrop one and then come back to sprite and then code. Okay, so um, after you have done so much, then what you need to do is you need to start. Welcome to this quiz game. Hope you'll enjoy. Click on the start button. So now you need to get so much then button two. Okay, I hope you have got so much. Okay. Now what you need to do is, um, you need to click on button two and um, go to looks, switch backdrop to backdrop one. Below that you should keep hide. And after that go to sensing. After that, cl um, click on what's your name and ask what's your name and wait. By default, we have what's your name. You need to erase that and then write, write, correct, option and wait. Okay, after that, you need to go to, um, Control, then click this. After that, you need to, after that, you need to go to operators and then click on um, equal to this one. And then take out this and write, take out this and then go to text to speech and then write, well done. Well done. Now what we need to do is go to sounds and choose a sound. We're gonna choose the sound cheer. Click on that. After you click on that, again come to code, click on sound. Play cheer until done. Okay. And then um, what you need to do is you need to go to sensing then take answer and place it here. Okay. You need to do so much. After that, take this block and place it here. And then you need to take this speak block and click it here. And then these are, this is my first question and the right answer is C. So I'm gonna click C, okay? And after that, I'm going to go to sounds, choose a sound and then crazy now. Yes, this is what we want. 
then again go to code and go to sound play crazy laugh until done select that after you have selected that then you need to you need to text to speech and then speak by default you get this hello erase that and write you lost you lost and then beneath that put the block play sound crazy laugh until done okay and then i'll make it a little large so that you can see it well now let's see how far we have got it welcome to this quiz game hope you'll enjoy Okay, now we have got so far. Now we need to do a little more modification so that we can see the score. Now what we need is we need to go to variables, make a variable, and then score. Then take um, set my variable score and go up and then set it below broadcast hide set score to zero that is how we need to get it as then go to change my variable to one take that and place it below my play sound chain until done and then score Okay, now you'll get it here by one. Now let's see how far we have got it. Welcome to this quiz game. Hope you'll enjoy. Well done. Okay, so we have got it so far. Welcome. One second. Yes, we have got it so far. Welcome to this quiz game. Now, Hope you'll enjoy. Yes, so we have got it so far. Now what we need to do is we need to... Now what you need to do is when you click on the right... When you feed the right answer, you get a cheer. And when you click on the wrong answer, you get a crazy laugh. Okay? Now let's go to backdrops, backdrops, and then just note what are the right answers and the wrong answers so that it will be easy for you. So for me, my right answer scheme is C A D B B, right? So click on the next one and then go to button. Good. Now what you need to do is you need to go on top and then switch and then from ask give a left click and then click on duplicate and fix it down. Right? And after that um you need to go to looks and then switch back drop to two so here backdrop one here backdrop two okay yes so um here we have done backdrop two after that here answer A, feed it in and then left click, click on duplicate 
and put it below. Now change this to backdrop three and erase this. And my answer is D. So I'm going to feed that. And then again, click on duplicate copy. Backdrop four. And my right answer scheme is B. So I'm going to do that. And then again, left click. Backdrop five. Then my right answer scheme is B only, so I'm not going to change that anymore now. So, yes, we have done so far. After you have done so much, then you need to go to events, click on broadcast, broadcast new message, congrats, congrats, and then okay, okay. We need to do so much and after you have done, click on paint and convert to vector. Then select one of your favorite colors. I'm going to select this color and then I'm filling it. Adjust the screen to your choice. And then after you have done this, then click on text and then select, I'm going to select purple color. You can select whatever color you want. And then I'm going to write congratulations. Okay, I have done so. Okay, now I have put my last screen, which is congratulations. And after that, we need to go to... Okay, after you have done so much, then you need to go to code. And then when sprite, when flag clicked, then go to look, select hide. And then again, go to events. And when I receive congrats, then show. Go to looks and select show. After that, go to text to speech, speak hello. And then go to operators and join apple and banana, select that. And after that, what you need to do is, you will need to, it is this apple and type your score is, it is this, go to variables and select score. So, um, Now let's look at the whole game now. Now let's start our game and see if it has come right or not. To start, click on this flag. Welcome to this quiz game. Hope you'll enjoy. To start, click on start. My first question, how many days are in a week? These are the four options. The right option is option C. And click on enter or you can click on this. Well done. Who is the queen of fruits? Option A. Well done.
Now I'm going to click the wrong answer and you can hear the crazy laugh. I'm going to click A. This is the wrong answer. You lost. <laughs> okay. Now, I am a fruit. My name is my color. Option B, orange. Well done. You can see your score up here. This is your score. What element does H represent in the periodic table? Well done. Your score is four. Now my score is four because I made one mistake here. That's why. And I'm going to do one more thing. Speak. Right? Now let's check. Welcome to this quiz game. Hope you'll enjoy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Your score is five. Okay, so I hope you have understood on how to make your own game. So here I've just done a quiz on certain things, but you can do it on one topic itself, for example. So this is another quiz I had made on the topic mango. I will show it to you. Welcome to the Mango Quiz Game. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now I'm going to give a wrong answer. You lost. <laughs> well done. Your score is four. I hope you have enjoyed this section of a quiz game that you can make in Scratch. Let me know if you want more videos. Like Thank you and let us meet again with another educational video. Thank you and happy learning.